Gerambit, Machete, the famous American Bowie knife, the Scottish Skindu or the Spanish Navaja. All these are legendary knives with a rich history, but this Valley of Blade fame wouldn't be complete without one star representative of knife legacy of the past. This is the legendary knife of Gurkhas, the Nepalese, Kukri. No one knows either the time or the place of the creation of Kukri. The history of its creation or the name of the creator have disappeared beneath the shrouds of time. But there are some facts that show that it's one of the oldest knives in the world. It's commonly accepted that Kukri comes from the Greek Kopis, which has a similar band. And it came to Nepal with the army of Alexander the Great back in the 7th century BC. The Kukri became really famous thanks to the tribe of Gurkhas, living in the foothills of the Nepalese Himalayas. These short and stout Highlanders were famous for their amazing endurance and fearlessness. Gurkhas are born warriors who's been using their famous Kukri knives since childhood. Their skill has always been warfare. And the British got a full measure of it when they were trying to conquer Nepal in 1814. The Gurkhas, armed with their knives, just slaughtered the numerous army of the East India British Company in spite of their better and more modern fighting equipment. When the British realized that they will never conquer the Gurkhas, they made the truth. And since, ever since then, they've been hiring. And for the last 200 years, they've been hiring Gurkhas for their troops. Knife use is the art that the Gurkhas are acquiring from early childhood. Besides that, ever since they're little, they have a martial arts which is called the same, Kukri. It's a whole set of fighting and hunting techniques and rituals with the use of this knife. Actually, Gurkhas never try to find out who is stronger, but if there are reasons for a fight and the opponent is not sorry, the Gurkhas makes a lightning strike with a knife. After the kill, the Gurkhas is calm and feels no remorse. That's how he's been taught, that's how his ancestors have been doing, that's the law he's living with. But let's come back to the topic of our today's video. The blade of a traditional kukri is not just sharpened at a variable angle, but it's also zonal heat treated. For kukri, it's characteristic to have 25 to 27 rockwell units at the back of the blade, 46 to 48 in the middle, and 55 to 57 at the cutting edge. Each characteristic element of a kukri has not just some practical, but also symbolic meaning. The cross section of the blade is a triangle, which symbolizes the divinity of gods, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. The groove near the back of the knife is called Shiva's sword. It gives Kukri the strength of Shiva's weapon. The rings on the handle helps the grip in the wet hand and they symbolize the levels of creation. The blade with its varied sharpening angle gives maximum efficiency in chopping, cutting and impaling strikes and it symbolizes the sun and the moon, the traditional Nepalese symbols. The notch of the blade near the handle is called Cho and it can be of various shapes. Usually Cho means the trident of Shiva, the main attribute and symbol of this god. Kukri with a Cho is under the protection of God. It's the sign that the knife has magical power. But Cho also has some practical meaning. It prevents the knife from cracking and breaking down at the handle. The kukris without a cho quite often break in this particular spot because that's where maximum load goes with chopping strikes. The metal knob on the pommel symbolizes the all-seeing eye of God and from the practical point of view it covers the end of the tank that goes through the whole handle and it allows to use the handle of the kukri as a hammer. Usually a set of kukri besides the kukri itself includes two smaller knives Karda and Hakma. The first one is used for some small works. The other one is a blunt piece of steel with a handle used, for example, to start the fires. Gyogas believed that if you take kukri out of its sheath, it has to taste blood. That's why they were hesitant to take the knife out without a big need. But if somehow they have taken the knife out but it didn't taste blood, the Gyogas would make a small cut on the finger to let it taste their own blood. That's why usually the Cho was used, the tooth of Shiva. Kukri, a blade of legends. Many designs of milieu weapons from the past have become museum showpieces, but the ancient Kukri is still used by the Nepalese army. And of course, it's a main weapon of Gurkhas, the units of which are employed by many armies of the world. Kukri is not just a knife, it's the history, it's the legacy of a whole nation. 
and when you're holding such a knife in your hands, you forget about your spider coats, bench maids and so forth. I really like these knives, but these are just knives. And this one is world history, it's our past, present and I hope our future. If you want to keep immersing in this history with me, just subscribe to the channel and support this video with your like, with your comment, better still share it in your social networks. That's it, have a good one, see you online.